All right, so here are some really quick and easy ways to get a good return on investment when it comes to selling your home. And again, we look at an ROI, which is a return on investment. So smallest amount of money putting into your house and then it's going to give you back the most money. That's kind of how we're, we're approaching this. Number one tip, again, when it comes to your time and energy and money is honestly just keep your property clean when you're looking to sell it. People want to see the fact that the property is nice and that the people that they're buying from have taken good care of the property that they might be buying. One of the biggest ones that we always tell people is honestly just putting some fertilizer in your yard. Fertilizer is super cheap, but it really adds that curb appeal to a property and can dramatically increase your return on investment when it comes to the cost of the fertilizer and what you're gonna get back on the home sale. The next really, really big one um, that's really easy and again, the ROI is really big is replacing your front door um, or even painting your front door. Um, that is a really big one when it comes to, again, your return on investment. It's super easy to do. Um, doesn't cost a lot of money. Some other um, really nice ones, um, maybe you've even seen these on HGTV before, and everyone loves this, is if you have hardwood floors, tear that carpet out and put in or refinish those hardwood floors underneath. That's got a, a really big ROI and um, new home buyers really like that. And then another one is putting insulation in your attic um, as a way to, you know, keep the hot air out, keep the warm air in. Uh, that's another big uh, return on investment when it comes to selling your home. And a, a note to make too is these aren't necessary. Um, this is only if you maybe have got the time, if it's something that you're really picky about. Because even though some of these return on investments, 120, 150% return on investment, that really calculates to you know $200, maybe $1,000 extra, um, when it comes to hardwood floors and if the time and energy just isn't worth it to you just don't worry about it and let the next homeowner buy it um, or, or worry about it for you that is probably a better route to go than even considering doing some of these returns hopefully it's it's apparent at this point but we're investors we're licensed agents and Sometimes you honestly don't know the next best steps to take when it comes to selling your home. Usually it's just give us a call and we can walk you through what's necessary. Nine times out of, actually no, 10 times out of 10, you're not gonna have to do a single thing to your property. Um, we wanna be, make this an easy and stress-free process for you. And there are a number of ways that we can approach this to make sure that it is completely stress-free and you don't have to worry about anything.